Okay, getting ready to go ice fishing again this weekend. Just trying to get some stuff together. Uh, just a quick video, few minute video on screw options for uh, your ice hut. This Quick Fish 3, this uh, SMO Quick Fish 3 has been a great hut for us. We had it for a few years and um, it's really just big enough for my wife and I. It's called a three person, but if you're running three people in one hole each, then it's fine. My wife and I like to run two rods and two holes uh, spaced apart pretty far so that we don't tangle lines when we do catch a fish on one. And then we like to have a third hole each for the fish sonar and also for the fish camera. So that's like six holes in a little hut like that. And it's a square, it's a square hut and it's worked fine. Good quality. We like it. The screws are good quality. So let's talk about the screws for it. And then I'm going to talk about the hut that we bought off Amazon and the screws that came with it. So here's the quick fish screws right here. Um, they're big, they're robust, they're good quality. I have kind of a big hand. So you can see they fit in your hand well. They are tapered so that they do start real easily in the ice. And then you can see the shaft tapers bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until you, uh, the washer catches your grommet in the corner of your hut. Um, the only issue of, or the only wish that I had was that uh, Eskimo sent eight of these instead of six. Um, six came with mine. So if you have a four, if you anchor down your four corners, that's four of them. And then if you anchor out the two sides, toward the windward side, then toward the windy side, then you're, you know, you've used all your screws. If you want to anchor out the other sides, then you're, you don't have enough. Um, but the, most of the, for the most part, that hasn't been a problem for us. Um, a couple of times the winds has shifted and tried to push in the side window and it's popped in and we've had to go out and anchor it. So what we ended up using was um, some ice screws. So these are ice climbing screws. These are, uh, so we do some ice climbing in the winter. Um, once or twice a year, we'll go we'll take some friends or people that want to try ice climbing. These are not my ice climbing screws for you ice climbers out there. These are, uh, I bought brand new screws and that's what I use for actual climbing. These are from the secondhand store, um, secondhand like a sports store. And uh, they're used and they were like 10 bucks each, I think. And so I don't mind paying that and using them for uh, just to anchor my pack and hang it on a frozen waterfall or to use it as a backup to my belay. I'll put a screw in. Um, I'm not going to take a lead fall on these, though these are used. I have no idea what their history is. So, But the point is, they go into ice really easy. And so if I want to anchor down the sides of my ice hut, then I'll just start one of these. And super sharp tips here. They start real easy with just one hand, just a couple turns. And then like this one has a handle, you just crank it in, and in a few seconds it's in. It is not going to go anywhere. It doesn't fracture the ice at all. Of course, that's what you want when you're ice climbing. You don't want to fracture your ice. It does core the ice. You can see that hole where the ice comes out. So there's several different makes of them now. They have different handles on them. This one's a little bit longer, still still nice and sharp. Um, there's a couple different ones here. So I have five of those used ones that I just carry ice climbing as backup uh, just to hang stuff and that kind of thing. Or also we take them ice fishing to anchor out the corners of the hut. So they work well. Um, we'll do a little demo of them out on my little frozen pond here in a little bit once I get these other uh, screws fixed. So these other screws that I'm going to talk about next are the ones that came with the Pexmore. I think it's Pexmore was the brand, the hut that we bought on Amazon. Less than $200 for a double-sized hut. So the hut is, if my quick fish is a square, this hits a rectangle. It's just as big as the quick fish, but it's like having two quick fish threes next to each other. So it's a big open uh, hut. If there's lots of room, there's plenty of room to walk around, set the heater, set your um, gas stove if you're cooking, set your thermoses down, still run three holes each person for two people. You could run three or four people pretty comfortably, and it's a big hut. Um, the quality is just not quite there. Um, maybe I'll make a video on it later uh, compared to the uh, Eskimo. And the zipper quality, you can tell, is just not quite as good as the Eskimo. The stitching quality isn't quite as good. Um, it's worked fine. We've used it twice, and it's worked fine. We even set it up on the wind, um, and we like it. It popped up just as easy as the Eskimo. Um, Nothing's torn on it, nothing's ripped on it, but the screws that come with it are less quality. And this is the screw that comes with the uh, Pexmore Amazon, Pexmore Hut off Amazon. So, and really we probably would have bought the Eskimo Big Hut, but it was about twice the price. And um, we really weren't even sure if we wanted that big of a hut. So we thought, well, let's just buy this and we'll take, we'll see what it's like. And, and you can see the difference in the size of the screws here. The Eskimo screws on top right here, of course. And that's the Pexmore screw. The diameter's thicker. And you can see that the shaft is not tapered. So they're harder to start because of that. Because um, it's just as thick down here as it is up here. The handle's much smaller. 
so it really cramps your hand when you're putting them in by hand. So what we did was we bought this little Eskimo uh, screwdriver or uh, ice screwdriver. Works very well. Of course, it's made for the Eskimo screws. It holds them nice and tight. These Pecmore, Pexmore screws, I might have the name wrong. I'm sorry if I keep saying the wrong name. Um, but that screw does fit in there. It's a little wobbly and it flops around a little bit. But if you keep steady pressure and keep it on your drill on low speed, it drives in just fine. And so just a few seconds, the screw's in. Um, we're, we're putting these in. Uh, it, if it's windy, super, super important that you just get these in quickly, right? And so this drill driver, I use my 18-volt Ryobi um, half-inch drill and uh, chuck it up in there and then just set it on speed number one. It has like speed one and speed two. Speed two is obviously faster, one's slower. And it seems to do a lot better with speed one because it doesn't spin around as fast and fracture the ice and wobble around as much. So that's worked well for us. Um, so a bunch of these screws came with the Pexmore hut, but again, not enough to anchor out all the corners and all the grommet holes on the side and all the sides. So there wasn't enough screws. Um, I think it came with like, I don't remember exactly, don't quote me. We did bend one of them uh, when we were taking the hut down in the wind one day. Um, it was almost dark, the wind's blowing. We were breaking it down. We left one screw in the corner just in case kind of thing. Uh, in case the hut like tried to blow away while we were breaking it down and it held it down, but it bent the screw really bad. So that screw um, was kind of a waste. I don't know if the Eskimo screw would have bent or not. It may not have, but, and you can see it wasn't in very far. It had worked its way up from all the wind motion and then it bent right there. So would the Eskimo screw have bent? Maybe, but it is a lot thicker. Now the, the issue I had uh, the only issue I have with buying more Eskimo screws is at my big R store, these are two for $14. So that's a lot. Um, these screws were from Walmart and they were two for three something, like $3 and I don't know what they were, $3 and something. So we bought them out. We bought like five packages of them. So that gave me 10 extra screws. And uh, these also fit in this Eskimo driver. With that little rubber thing I was worried would be in the way. I'd have to cut it off, but nope. Slides in there fine. Sits fine. So you can see these little marks here. I bought some washers, um, some 5 16 washers. I'm going to weld those on so that I have a bit of a washer, um, just like the Eskimo screws. So that's my one of my welding projects. Today. i got several welding projects i got to get done today. But I marked them all. I left myself a little bit of space. We can put a washer there. Hopefully with the drill, we can put it in nice and solid so that if there's any pressure, it's pulling down here and not pulling up on this ridge here. The, and so one time we had these uh, in with the Pexmore hut, with the new hut, with the big hut that we bought off Amazon, and the grommet actually worked its way up and around and came off. So, and it doesn't hold the edges down if there's no washer. It doesn't hold them down very well. And to put the screw in this far to try to get the washer to go, I mean your grommet to go up here on the corner of your hut, then it just kind of works its way around real easily then. And so, they need washers, so I'm going to weld them on. It is going to weaken that edge there a little bit when I do weld it. I'm just going to tack weld it like they did the Eskimo screws, though, and uh, kind of hope for the best. Uh, should I spend more quality in uh, Eskimo screws? Probably, because I think they're just a superior screw to ease for ease of driving in. And if my drill fails, I can hardly get these. These are a pain in the butt to get in. These are real easy to get in by hand, though. And, of course, these work well for anchoring at your sides, uh, but, don't again, don't work well for... Uh, they don't go in your grommet, so you can't use them in the corners of your hut anyway. Okay, so let me get these welded up, then we'll go out and do a little video of driving them in um, in my little frozen pond outside and uh, see how they all look and see how they all work. Yep, got them all welded up, painted. So, came out pretty good. That'll work. The only thing I wished I'd done, instead of getting a 5 16 inner diameter, I'd gotten a quarter inner diameter and started up here and moved it around here and then put it in place because I had to have 5 16 to get over these bigger, um, that bigger end. The only issue it would have been was I'd have had to take the rubber off on these to get that quarter inch around, so, or I still would have used 5 16 on those. So, either way, let's go try them out. Ice screw first.
climbers trust their lives to these, so and so have I. And they're super solid. They're just not going to go anywhere. You can see it didn't fracture the ice around. Um, this is pretty solid ice right here. So okay, next we'll try the Pexmore. Um, on this one, I burned through the washer. I had my heated little high right there. It made some sharp edges, so I just went ahead and put another washer on and just kind of caught it from the inside there. That one might break off, but... Okay, that's on speed two, and that's kind of fast. Let's go down to speed one. Okay, good. So that washer will hold the grommet down or you can use these to anchor your rope tooth when you're tying your walls down. And we'll just put this one on. You can hear it fracture the ice. You can see it splint. Maybe you couldn't see it splinter the ice right around the top. Not a big, not a big deal. If your ice is thick enough to walk on this, probably not going to cause a problem. So let's take them out. That's speed one. Let's try speed two. Oh, yeah. Okay. Very good. So far, so good. Something I didn't notice until I was painting these was that these Pexmore screws that came with the Pexmore hut um, have just one little flute that's about that long, or one little groove. The um, these screws from Walmart uh, actually have two grooves: this one and this one. There's one on each side. They kind of fill up with ice, but they're a little bit longer, and there's one on each side. I don't know if that's advantageous or not, but whatever that's worth. 